Hello there. Time for another work perk up in the workplace. So yesterday we were focusing on back pain. Today I said we're going to do the same thing, but yesterday we did a lot of flexion, a lot of extension, just sort of moving through the spine this way and this way. So now what we're going to do is some lateral movement. So we're going to kind of move the spine from one side to the other. So this is really going to help get into the SI as well really loosen up the space through the lats and also through those all little erectors that go through the spine. So what you're going to do is just start seated here. Feet are nice and flat, planted. You're going to take your hand, place it on top of the chair, and then all we're going to do is we're going to reach up with the arm and then just do a small little side bend. But as you bend, keep the opposite hip. So this hip here, keep it connected and pressed into your chair. Think about lengthening through this whole side body. So we're opening up through the ribs as well. But we're also getting, so if you look at my back here, we're also getting a nice curve through the spine and side, but keeping the length. So you wanna make sure that you keep the length. And then we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. So send the other arm up, keep pushing into the hips, nice little side bend. So that's gonna really help to get into those lats. If you got, if you kind of deal with that SI pain, so pain in through the piriformis, pain in through here a lot, then these ones are really going to help. This next one's going to help. So stand up, stand behind your chair, and turn your chair this way. And what I'm going to do is you can't see my feet, but I'm going to take my right leg and I'm going to cross it over top of the left leg. As I cross it, try not to let your hips sort of drop like this. Keep your hips square. So we're bending that front right leg, back left leg is a little bit straighter. Then from here, use your chair and just sort of fold forward. So right now you might feel a little bit of a release in that back leg. So it's the left leg that's down, you might feel a little bit of a release. If you'd like to extend this even further, step back a little bit further, hold onto the chair, stay right here. So keep that front leg bent, try to keep the hips level. And all we're gonna do is take the right hand and draw it over towards the left hand, push the hips back so that we get a little bit more bend through the spine. And now I really feel this a lot right here. It feels good all the way down into the leg. You might even feel it in the IT. So from here, all the way down into the knee. If you're feeling it into the foot, there's a lot of tightness and tension in there. So that's okay. Last one, opposite side. So all you're gonna do is cross the other leg over. You had your right leg over top, now we're gonna do the left leg over top. Both feet are planted, nice and flat. Maybe this is all you do. Maybe you stay right here, and this is sort of all you do, you just kind of rest in the chair, that's fine. Or we can extend the chair a little bit further, lower down, and then kind of feeling, again, the leg that's back, that right leg, right in this point here, right on that nice trigger point. So we can stay right here, and if we want to add a little bit of that lateral bend, so a little bit of that side bend, then we can go off to the opposite side. Both sides work. So you can go over to the right, then go over to the left, and just kind of notice what you feel. And that is it for today. Take about five minutes to do those nice little side bends. It's gonna help with your back pain. It's gonna help with hip pain. You might even notice some release in through the jaw too. Have an awesome day. Perk up in the workplace.